I spent four and a half hours on TikTok today. Does that make me feel really good? Imagine the things I could do in these four and a half hours that I wasted today. Bro, I feel like shit. I literally feel like crap right now. If you guys didn't know, I just graduated high school like a month ago and now I literally have no clue what to do with myself. Like I just sit in my room and I just have absolutely nothing to do. And I hate not having anything to do. Like I like to keep myself busy and I'm not even like saying like work or like school. Like I just want to do something fun and productive. Oh, uh, but like there's just nothing I can do really. In the morning I like struggle to get up and get dressed and I literally sit in PJs all day and I can't even like wash my face in the morning because I don't know I'm just so drained and so like anxious about the fact that I'm not doing anything when I literally don't have anything to do my room right now is pretty much a visual representation of my mental state which is obviously not good also I share this room with my sister and you can literally tell what our mental state is just by looking at our room so as you can tell we're both not doing good right now so this is where i probably should start getting my life together because i feel like a clean room is a clear mind and vice versa so let's get right into it So my desk is pretty stained and I read on the internet that you should use a mix of water and vinegar so this better work because I can't let my room stink of vinegar for nothing so let's pray also I only have one glove because I couldn't find the other one so I gotta use one hand for this Okay, so that did absolutely nothing. Don't trust the internet, guys. Okay, so my corner of the room is pretty much all clean. I also wanted to vacuum the floors, but unfortunately I can't because my sister's stuff is still laying all around the room. So I gotta live in the dust for now. Oh my god, I literally love sandwiches and I love bread. Oh my god. 
so good okay but now to reconnect with my mind i'm gonna do some journaling i actually just got this guided journal for my birthday it's called hello sunshine a positivity journal and i'm really grateful that i got it for my birthday because i wanted to buy one of these myself and now i don't have to I'm not gonna lie, I really took my time with the journaling. I did not expect to do it for this long. But now I'm gonna do my Duolingo Spanish lesson. I honestly really love learning languages and I also just like learning in general. Like I don't like to be stuck in one place even though I'm not in school anymore. I still wanna do something because it makes me feel good. Yo no uso camisas, pero uso camisetas. I made two mistakes. <laughs> I literally love how my voice is different when I speak certain languages. Like in English, it's lower than it is in Polish. And I feel like in Spanish, my voice is way more high-pitched. I don't know. Okay, slay for a 10-day streak. today because I felt like I really needed some body movement and the weather is really nice today too and now I'm gonna do some scrapbooking because I think it's really good for like visualizing the reality that you desire and it's good for manifesting and it's just fun to do I almost finished my first page in my scrapbook but I somehow ran out of photos and you can see that this corner is empty so I need to print out a photo for this page and today i want to do like a summer page i think Hey y'all, this is the finished product. It literally took me like almost three hours to make, but it was so worth it. Cause look at it, it's so cute. So in the middle here, it says summer 23. And here we got a cute little quote saying, it's only embarrassing if you're embarrassed because I am scared of embarrassment. And therefore I'm scared of going places alone cause I'm terrified that something embarrassing or humiliating is gonna happen to me and i also have a few like beach photos because i love the beach and i want to tan a lot and be in the sun and have fun outside i have a picture of a city which i'm pretty sure is madrid but i just 
put it here because I want to go on like a city vacation. I have a bike here because I want to go on more bike rides and I also want to go on like a biking trip with my dad. I also have photos of like summer food and summer drinks because I want to try more of that. And also a couple of like airport photos because I want to fly somewhere. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this is so freaking cute. Hey guys, so it is the next day and for the past few hours I've been reading this book. It's called They Both Die at the End in English, but I'm reading it in Polish. But honestly, it would be better if I read it in English because the way some things are translated into Polish, it would make much more sense in English. Also, the title is completely different in Polish. Translating directly into English, it would be Our Last Day. I don't understand why they didn't just like translate the actual title into Polish and just completely changed it. And I was so invested in finishing this book today that I didn't even notice that it's literally 12 p.m. right now. I haven't even had breakfast or like brushed my teeth. I haven't done anything, I was just reading. So yeah, I'm gonna go make myself a nice breakfast. <laughs> eating chocolate pudding as a snack and I'm low-key bored as much as I love living in a small town that's calm and peaceful there's not really much to do here like there isn't even like a park that I can go to to chill and hang out like there's nothing around me other than houses fields and forests and I do love nature but I mean I want to do something other than walking and riding a bike, you know? And I feel like that's why I haven't really been enjoying my summer break and I haven't really been productive recently because like if there's nothing to do around me, what am I <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Like, But thankfully I'm planning to go on a few trips this summer. I'm definitely gonna go to Krakow and I'm also going on a solo trip to Wrocław, which is another Polish city. And this is actually gonna be my first solo trip. So I'm really excited. And then I'm also planning to go on like a biking trip with my dad. So yeah, I'm really excited. But for now, I'm just chilling at home, trying to be as productive as I can and enjoying the nature that is surrounding me. I wanted to go on a walk, but suddenly it became really windy outside. So I'm gonna start editing this video instead. This is the current state of my laptop. It's been like this for months. I feel like it's been like that for over a year, honestly. Sometimes it works by itself, but sometimes I have to like hold it properly and I have to use it while holding it with one hand, which is not my favorite thing ever, but this is, we're gonna have to work with that. And this is how I'm gonna edit today. <laughs> 